What's up, what's up, what's up, my kings and queen? I am doing another video. Welcome back to my channel. I'm just going to do a little small banana pudding. And you would need a box of vanilla wafer and a couple of my bananas. And I got six bananas. I don't know if I'm going to use them all because it's only making for two people and I do not want a lot. You're going to put one teaspoon of vanilla flavor. You're going to put a little dash of salt. Um, this is one third cup of flour. And I got one fourth of sugar. Or you can, depend on how sweet you want it. But I'm just doing this, just simple. And what you're going to do first, I have this bowl right here. Then I'm going to mix everything up in. And what you're going to do first, you're going to put your flour in first. Put your flour in. You're going to put your sugar in next. One third of flour now. Put your sugar in. Okay. I got my sugar, and that one fourth of sugar, and you put a pinch of salt. Well, I'm gonna show you. About that much. A little salt. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna mix this together real, real good before you do anything else. And combining the sugar, the flour, and the salt. And I use this bowl here to make sure I have enough room. And you just blend that in real well. Make sure your salt is combining real good. All in the flour and the sugar. And y'all know what I forgot? Let me show y'all. My bad. <laughs> My bad, I forgot. Cause I saw everything out last night. I got two eggs, two eggs, and I refrigerated them last night. Okay. I got two egg yolks, not the the white, just the yellow, the egg yolk. And I have two cups of milk. I put one can of evaporated milk. And it stopped right long there. That one cup, that one can of get like one half. And then I add just a little whole milk to make it two cups. Okay, I got a well blended. Now I'm gonna pour my milk in it. And I already have a video with a banana pudding. And I got over a hundred some videos. So Everybody probably ain't winning that fuck to see. Then I'm adding my egg in there. And I'm going to combine this real, real good. Real good. You know, you're just trying to get all the long side of it. Getting it real well. Because, and then you're going to cook this on the stove. Now, once you put it on the stove, do not, I repeat, do not leave your stove. Do not leave your stove. Okay, y'all, now we're going to the stove and turn your pot on medium high medium high for now and then what you're going to do I'm just showing y'all that don't know how to make a banana pudding and there's many ways to make a banana pudding
and I'm going to use this here because this is a stainless steel pot. And this is a metal uh, beater and it's going to make a lot of noise. So we don't want that. Now what you do, you must constantly stir your pot. Even though it's not hot yet, but you got to stir it. And your flavor will be the last thing you put in after you cook it. And everybody don't do this, but I do. I add margarine in mine because I just love buttery taste and stuff. I'll just stir and let it hit the. Want y'all closer? And I want y'all to see how this come together. I'm going to use this spoon. And y'all is coming together already. It's already getting thick. Now I'm going to turn down the heat. So you, don't, you want to do what it's supposed to do. And it'll take them five seconds. See how thick it is, y'all? See how thick it is already? It's all going to take a few minutes to make it. All right. And that's it, y'all. And then if it's too thick for you, now what I'm going to do, add my flavor. Do not. You see, my fire's turned off. I'll put one teaspoon of flavor, vanilla, and that's it. The flavor. And mix it well in there. Combine it real good. Real good. And don't let nobody tell you you cannot make a banana pudding. And you also can use the instant pudding. You can use two boxes of, or three boxes. Uh, instant pudding, depending on what side you're making. And put your like two and a half cup of milk in there. And uh, blend that thing together. And you can use condensed milk. And if you use condensed milk, make sure you put two whole milk and a can of condensed. And I want y'all to see this. Do y'all see how pretty that is? And this is your filling for your banana pudding. Now, 
we finna line up the cookies. We finna do the cookies and the bananas. All right. It's just something quick y'all to do. Open up your cookies. And take some of your filling and put it in the bottom of your pan. It's just something quick, y'all. Like I said, I already got a, a video. And I'm just doing this here for the new people that have not seen them. Uh, the, the, I got so many videos, they probably do not want to look through all the video just to find them. And you line your cookies. Line your cookies up in it. Now I'm finna do a banana. If you see any little black spots on your banana, you can remove it. Move your little strings and just cut your bananas. Like I said, I'm not trying to make a big banana pudding. So. Put one more at the bottom. Hope you don't see what I'm doing. And I don't waste a lot of time making a banana pudding. I just gonna get to it, get it over with. And before you know it, now I can tell you something else too. To keep your bananas from turning brown, you can brush them with orange juice. So you know, in the, the gas come out the banana so that will make a turn. And you can do lemon, you can uh, do lemon juice. Anything centrist that you can put your bananas in to keep them from turning. And you also, to save your bananas, if you the type that leave them sitting out, you see around this tip right here, you put um, um, plaster around it. The saran wrap and wrap the top and then keep it free for about a few days. Yes, ma'am. But see, this banana pudding is going today. This would not last long in my house. But just remember, when you make a big banana pudding um, to keep your banana from turning, uh, you must soak them in something. Brush something on them because you don't want them to turn brown. And um, there's more than one way to make a banana pudding. And with the instant pudding, you don't have to worry about cooking no bananas. I'm going to put some more cookies. We like a lot of cookies. And then I'm going to put the rest of the bananas on top. Now see, they got thick. Now what I'm gonna do, give me a little milk. 
in a little on bit. milk we're going to mix it you don't want it too loose now y'all what I should have be each layer I could have laid some pudding in here and like I said this banana pudding right here is big enough for us we don't need no lot and I'm going to save the other two bananas for something else I don't want to make something that I'm going to wind up throwing away. I don't want that. You know, put a few more cookies up here. And they're going to be a wrap, y'all. But you also, you also can spread your pudding. Each time you put a layer down, you can spread your filling. I didn't do that, but I'm just letting you know you can do that. And this is what you do when you don't want no big banana pudding. Do not put no lot of work in it. That's it, and I'm just going to spread it over them. And that's it. I want my feeling to run down off in there, y'all. So. Put some over here in this corner. And voila. That is your banana pudding. And I'm going to say these two bananas for something else. Clean your bowl off. Mm. 
You don't want to throw no cookies away. I don't. <laughs> you don't want to throw your cookies away. And use up your cookies, y'all. I might run out of them. I don't know. I'm trying not to. And that's it, y'all. All the cookies I had left. I had two cookies left, and I'm going to use them. And okay, and that is my banana pudding, y'all. It do not take long, y'all, to make a banana pudding. Keep it a real with Flemna banana pudding. Like I can say it more than one way to cook banana pudding. Make banana pudding. You could do it with the Jello Insta pudding. If it's just one, you use one box. But if it's two, use two. Add your cold milk. You know the ingredients are on the back of the box, so you can't go wrong. And if you use condensed milk. Use if you use one if you make one box there's one can of uh, condensed milk the sweet condensed and then one can of whole milk you know one cup of whole milk and you mix that thing together just read and then you also can put whipped cream in there if you choose to you can put the meringue on top of it with the not the yolk but the the white part of the eggs you can you know make that fluffy. Put that on top of your banana pudding. Put it in the oven, turn brown. It's ready. But um, I just did another banana pudding because I got over 100 and some videos. And for you new people that come in, probably have never made it to that. So everything I do in this YouTube business, it counts. Anytime I got to come in my kitchen, do anything, whether I already have it or not. If I'm cooking, if I'm working, I work for you too, and I gotta put a video out. Okay, y'all, until the next time, y'all stay blessed, stay safe, and wait on the girl till she send her next video out. Okay? Bye, y'all. Love you.